Hello. In this video I will show you how I used the iPad to download torrents. And uh, the method used will work for any iPad, iPhone, Android device, any smartphone or even any PC or Mac for that matter. Any computer. Uh, and to answer the question if you can use a non jailbreaked iPad only to download torrents the answer is unfortunately no that said there is a free and easy way to do it which has become my only way to download torrents uh, since it's so fast and easy and I always have my files waiting for me when I want them <coughs> first let's discuss the reason there is no torrent client for iOS so this is my pro the, the my thoughts on the matter and it's most probably because torrent clients can be used for illegal activities for example downloading copyrighted material such as mu movies and music Apple's take on such matters is to play it safe and not approve those apps at all as I understand it of course I don't approve of downloading other people's hard work either unless they themselves put it out there on the net for download which many people do so music movies TV shows virtual appliances ISO images etc etc there's loads of this kind of stuff out there for anyone to download for free using torrent clients so not having a torrent client on your iPad is not that good if you use your iPad in your daily life. Uh, one good place to find legal torrents is clearbits.com that's where I find many nice TV shows like for example if we go to clearbits here we have make television great guys doing cool stuff that it's fun to watch so how does my method work? Say for example I sit at a cafe and read news on my iPad and I see that uh, Make Television has a new episode and I think ah, I want to watch that when I get home. What I do, I need, to, I need to be able to download this torrent file, start the download of the episode and have it ready for me when I get home. Or if I prefer I could also have it ready for me on my iPad with just a few minor adjustments and for this to work you need four things one you do need a computer so you you really need a computer with a torrent client I use BitTorrent um, I have one computer standing down in my basement just serving as a file server and also as my torrent client. Uh, you also need Dropbox on your computer and then you need Dropbox the app on your the Dropbox app on your iPad. Okay so you have your four things now what? Let's start by creating Let's start by creating a Dropbox account. New to Dropbox, create a free account. I already downloaded the, the app. Uh, this is how it looks like when it's all new and not used at all. Christian, that's my name. Let's see, I've already used my name so I have to use something else. I will not show you my password I choose. Yeah, yeah, the 
intro done okay so now we have our Dropbox client here let's continue to the computer oh. on the computer we will also need the Dropbox client Ah, started Internet Explorer. We don't like that. Stay Chrome. I want to point out that uh, this is just a virtual machine running on my Mac, so I have my Mac here in the on the side, or I got it everywhere. But so this is just a virtual machine. Don't worry, I have not installed Windows XP on my Mac. is just for demonstration. So here we are and we want to download Dropbox. Yeah, there it comes. It's there. Let's start the installation. can't quit Chrome. While it installs we get the BitTorrent client as well. BitTorrent.com Missed that. So download and it's downloading So while it downloads, let's do our Dropbox setup. I already have a Dropbox account. Next. Torrent test. Borgs. Borgs.com. Ah, let's do make this then so you can see my fabulous password yeah we take the free one we don't need more than two gigabytes typical next 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 yeah, we can skip the tour finish so have my Dropbox. Now in my Dropbox folder I want to create a subfolder called torrents. That did not work. Torrents. Like that. This will now show up on my iPad as well in my Dropbox. I now got the torrents folder as well. So let's hope that my torrent client is finished. Uh, we want to install this in English so everyone understands. Yes, welcome, welcome. Next, 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 next. Uh, we don't want that. We don't want to install the toolbar. And we... No, we don't like that. Can't be too fast with some programs because they want to install all these other programs. doesn't matter. With this one it doesn't matter since 
it's a virtual machine just for this test. So, here comes the important part of the... So here's the important things that you have to do in your torrent client. You have to go to preferences, options, preferences, and you have a choice directories. Now, down here you have location of torrent files. Store torrents, move torrents to finish jobs, automatically load torrents from. So this one here, we go into our Dropbox folder and we choose the torrents folder we made a while back. Right? Now, if we would want to have our episode on our iPad, then we just in the uh, we check the move completed downloads too and then we just go into our Dropbox folder and we just put it in our Dropbox folder or complete it or whatever we're just gonna do this now because it doesn't matter like that and we also want to delete loaded torrent files when they're loaded we want it to be taken away immediately. There. So, and now we go back to our iPad. So, back to our iPad. Now we want to go to this site, Clearbits. So I sit at the cafe and I say, ah oh, great, there's a new episode of Make Television. I want to download torrent file. I click it and once you install Dropbox it will uh, get the what do you say the file extension of .torrents it will connect to uh, Dropbox. So you just open in Dropbox if you have a file browser or other you can choose open in um, but usually, usually you only have Dropbox so open in Dropbox it open Dropbox and where do you want to put it? You want to put it inside your torrents folder and then you just press upload and it goes starts uploading there and what happens on your what happens on your uh, computer is this shouldn't happen Let's see, I, I forgot something. Ah, right, I've never asked it where to download it to. So don't show again and just press OK. So now you see it opens and starts to download here. While we do this, I just, just so you don't think that uh, it will do that all the time. So on our iPad, let's go back here and take another episode. Here's another episode that I didn't see this one either. So let's download this torrent file as well. Open in Dropbox. You see the, the folder is empty because we said they told it to, to remove the torrent once, once it was loaded. So we upload the file here and we see on the computer there added and it just adds that one to the list. So just to make this a little faster we're gonna pause that one but as you see it very fast and very easy just adds the next one to the list. Be away fly. And now we got a message that download is complete. So what happens now is that it has been moved into our Dropbox folder again. So now we have Make Magazine, the Make Television Premiere 
and it is slowly uploading it again so we downloaded it and now we upload it again it's so but if we would just want to watch it it's right here download yeah I don't have a VLC player but it's downloaded with our torrent torrent download from our iPad and um, So it's it's really that easy, and in a bit we will see. I think if we go in here now, yeah, we see Make Mag. Sorry, Make Magazine is on its way up here. We got the legal torrents, we got the license and this description, and then the content isn't here yet. It's it's on its way. So this is fully legal, and. Uh, no jailbreak necessary no nothing no not anything that costs any money or is very complicated in any way so all you need of course you do need and that could be complicated for some people you do need a computer just standing on at all times in the basement or the attic or your dorm room whatever it needs to be on and it needs to be connected to the internet and you need to have a torrent client and a Dropbox and the smallest one 2 gigabyte free Dropbox account is more than enough all you really need is is um, torrent files so so that's how easy it is to download torrents with your iPad and a few other things. Hope you enjoyed.